So even, brothers and sisters, even as God is raising many of us to be prophets, amen. When you make a mistake, say, I'm sorry. And let's move on. Amen. amen. So but the best person to talk to is the Holy Spirit on every single matter because he will make you free. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the power, all the praise, all the majesty and the dominion, the maker of the heavens and the earth, and the seas and everything that in them is. Father, teach us. Reveal secrets to us. May our hearts indict a good matter. And may we leave this class better than the way we came. In Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> Champion, shout fire. fire. Shout Ururu. Ururu. Shout Muzuzu. Muzuzu. And they all mean anointing. Amen. Praise God forevermore. All right, we thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. And also we thank our father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Amen and amen. amen. Now we're still looking at our subject titled Knowing the Truth. See it. Knowing the truth. Yes, because Jesus said, you shall know the truth. Yes, sir. And the truth shall make you free. Yes, now, here, when he's talking about knowing the truth and the truth making you free, he's not talking about confession, where you confess something you did wrong. Here, he's talking about knowing what something was originally designed to yes, be. For instance, um, a classical example of, ali of that word truth, alites, is when Jesus in Matthew chapter 19 was tested from verses 3 down to verses 7 by some Pharisees if it was okay for a man to divorce his wife, put his wife away for any reason. And then Jesus gave them the alites. He said, he that made them from the beginning. He actually said, have you not read? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That he that made them from the beginning made them male and female. Yes, sir. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to the wife. Yes, In today's world, it is the wife that will leave mother and father and cleave to the husband's family. So what Jesus was saying is, this is what it was supposed yes, to be. Yes, sir. But we can understand that not many marriages are like that. So what do you think Jesus was explaining to them? He was giving them the alites. Yes, sir. That to every man there is a woman equivalent. Yes, sir. It's a he that made them. Made them male and female. So when God was making a man, he had a woman in mind. Yes, but then again, Jesus later gave an exception of certain men that God designed and not to marry eunuchs, not to even have children. And it is for the sake of the kingdom, he yes, said. Sir. He said there are others, others made them that way, eunuchs. And then there are some who made themselves that way to, to be eunuchs. But Jesus acknowledges there's only one group one set out of the three groups that God is responsible yes, for. Sir. You know, sometimes you find some people say, I, I don't believe in marriage, I don't need to marry. I just want to remain single. And when you ask them why, they'll say, because of the way my father treated my mother or the way my mother treated my father. Well, that has nothing to do with your marital life. That it didn't work for your father and mother should never affect you at all. Why? The reason being is because they are fulfilling their own individual destinies that they chose for themselves. And that should never, never affect you. You see, someone say, well, I just want to remain single. Well, if you must remain single, it must be for one primary reason. That's one thing. People who are singles, people who choose to be single, even when the opportunity to be married is there, the... 
what they don't know is that the only way you can be single, the only way you are permitted to be single, is if your singleness or singlehood is to live for the kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But anything outside that is a cause. It's not from God. In fact, so there are some people who are single and their singlehood is a disobedience to God's wow. command. Because um, Jesus said, Whosoever lives father and mother, Mark chapter 10, verses 28 to 30, Whosoever lives father and mother, brothers and sisters, houses and land for the kingdom's sake, yes, sir. including wife too, he said. Yes, sir. So you see, if you must remain single or separated, you know, there are some people who married and later on decided to separate. He said, well, if that separation must hold, it should be for the sake of the kingdom. That's what Mark chapter 10, verses 23 Verses 28 to 30 says, It says, Whoever has left father, mother, wife, children, brothers and sisters, for the kingdom's sake. So, so, if you must be separated in your marriage, it should not be because the woman is full of trouble or you can't stand her anymore. It should be for the sake of the kingdom, which the apostles did, actually. Because later on, they now brought their own selfish position and said, well, if this is the case, it is better for a man not to marry. But they wanted to just leave. But later on, they went back to their wives later on. But if you must remain single, it should be that you are living for the kingdom. If you have an opportunity to marry, marry. But to blame your singlehood, your singleness. Do you understand what we're saying? Yes, sir. To blame it now on... On the fact that your father and your mother had a bad marriage is not an excuse be, before God. Except Jesus was lying and Jesus was crazy. So if your child says, well, I don't want to marry because of how daddy has been treating you, just tell the child, shut up. That should not be your business. That should never affect you in any way. Well, he did emotionally, he did it. Even the man next door doesn't look like your daddy. So don't blame it on your daddy. And what makes you think I'm not even at fault? And you know, a lot of mothers don't even help matters, you know. And this thing is terrible because when you find, no matter how terrible your husband is, let the child find out for themselves, not you telling them. Exactly. Not you telling them that the man is bad. If the man is bad, then you are the fool. Exactly. How come you've been with him all these years? Even had children with him. What happened? In your anger, you became pregnant. Wow. <laughs> so I, I wasn't supposed to have you. So how did he have you? How did he, <laughs> you know, so but it's foolish when you hear some parents. Um, um, they may say, well, I needed somebody to talk to. I'm pouring my heart to your oh, child again. Yes. Your child, is your child a psychologist or your pastor? So those things are wrong. <laughs> okay. Now, we know we've offended some of you, but we're telling you the truth. And if your child is trying to challenge the father or the mother because of you, that's also wrong too. Because when both of you met, your child had not been born. Do you understand? They don't understand how the contract was signed. Praise God. So if your dad says he wants to report your mother, he said, look, man, I was not there when both of you started. You people should go on. But I told you I'm a pastor. I told you I'm a Christian. He said, I am. You were a Christian before I was born. So fix it yourself. But Jesus gave them the alites. He said, so what do you think he was? Alites means what? Truth. It means bringing something back to what it was originally supposed to be. This is the straightforwardness of the matter. It was supposed to be like this, not the other way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So divorce was not supposed to be an option. Yeah. Separation was not supposed yeah. to be, but if you must be separated, it should be for the kingdom's sake. Yes, not sir. because you can't stand there anymore. Yes, sir. Because you could stand there before, so what changed? So I never knew she used to complain like this. You didn't know. You didn't know. If you can survive your sister, you can survive your pastor, yes, your sir. wife. Yes, sir. That's why you're right, sir. 
Okay. But then we began to show you another kind of truth. Yes. Amen. Uh. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, irrespective of the multitudes that gathered before Jesus, Jesus was not talking to everyone. He was talking to a few. Yes. So if you can be among the few to hear what we have yes. to say, that will make a difference. Yes, sir. Think about knowing what your destiny was originally supposed to be. Yes, sir. That's all it is. Yes, sir. Knowing what it was supposed to be. Because many people today are living under the guise of stolen identity. Now, we're not talking about identity theft on online, with online. I'm talking about spiritually. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The one who was supposed to be a doctor by destiny is now a cleaner. Mm. See that? The one who, who graduated as a medical doctor back in Africa is doing home health aid in America. So they say, America is a leveler. You know, there's dignity in labor. There's no dignity in the labor. What do you mean? A medical doctor in Africa is now a cleaner, a home head, in washing all people's body. There's no dignity in that. Then why did you study the medicine? You wasted all those years. No, there's no dignity in that. Something was responsible for it. And whether you realize it or not, if you were to meet Jesus face to face, he would tell you this was not what it was supposed to be. It was the early thesis that you were supposed to be a doctor and not to come to America and be a home health aid assistant. But those kind of people go to church. They go to church. They go to church. They can even come to share testimonies. And the supervisor is oppressing you at work, does not even know what osmosis is. Does not know what biology is. A whole you, full doctor. So whether you realize this or not, and, and, and blaming it on America is not an excuse because America didn't do that to you. Right. It was because of a truth you refused to acknowledge. Yeah. The reality is, you know what it was originally supposed to be. Yes, now I know you, we all say, well, the economic conditions in Africa is the reason why we came to America to seek better lives. Better lives, you said. Yes, so that means that it was supposed to be better than the medical yes. practice yes, back in Africa. Yes. Yes, but now it doesn't look like it is better. Somebody say, well, it's better because I can afford Burger King. You, you know, Burger King. I, I can buy Burger King. There's McDonald's. There's 444. No. No. And, and you know, many people left this ministry because when we, some years ago, when we began to tell them this thing, they were upset. So they left. And they left to go and do what we told them to do. But they will not come back. They were too ashamed. To come back and tell us, well, see, honestly, thank you. Yeah. We recall we saw one one day who, who, who removed that uniform. I said, why are you removing it? They already told me you passed your exam. Yeah. Well, you see, but, but they were too ashamed. You see, yeah. Jesus said, know the truth. Know what it was originally supposed yes, to sir. be yes, for you. Yeah. And it's amazing that with so many, many churches, yes, with so many, many churches, yes, with so many churches, yes, people are still living the wrong identity. It's true. You know, we told you how somebody referred someone to us. Yes. And this sister was somebody we've not seen in years yes, because she was upset because we told her something, mm -hmm. which was true. And she got angry and left. But she referred somebody to come and meet us for prayers. And when the person came and said, oh, so-so person referred me to you. I said, that madam, she said, I said, I've not seen her in years. He said, yes, yeah, she told me that she, she, both of you have issues. I said, oh, no, I have issues. I only told her the truth. She refused to accept it. Yeah. He, he said, well, this was what she told me. She said, really? I, I don't like Brother Elsie. I really don't like Brother Elsie. Because Brother Elsie will just tell you the, the truth, the way it is. Yeah. But if you want to know a man or God who will be straight with you, it's Elsie. But both of us have issues. Let me greet him. That's how the sister came. I said, you and me greet her too. <laughs> yeah. wow. See that? Yes, sir. But, so the question is, what's the point going to a church? No matter how much you love the pastor, mm -hmm. who cannot let you know the truth to be yes, free? Sir. Yes, sir. 
He says, you shall know the truth. Amen. Do you know, if at all, do you know what your, quite frankly, what the church does in your life yes, sir. is what your parents were supposed to do that they didn't know they were supposed yes, to do. Sir. And so if they missed it, the church should fix it. Yes, sir. But now if the church is not the one twisting it, then the question is, how can you ever be better in your life? Rather, you rely on the government for supplements. Yes, true. And so some people are living on governmental supplements, governmental help, when they were supposed to exercise dominion and have and conquer. Yes, sir. Do you know Jesus did not do a regular job one day? Yet he was taking care of 12 men. Yes. Yes, sir. He was telling them. Peter was scrambling just to catch one fish. Jesus oh. said, no, you were supposed to be fishing yes. men. Yes, sir. He brought Alitase yes, into his sir. life. Yes, sir. I see, this. see that? He yes, brought Alitase. He said, you are supposed to be fishing yes, men. Yes, sir. Yes, not, sir. To be, not to be yes, toiling all night. Yes, you think sir. about it. Yes, sir. That's a man with a family. Yes, sir. Night vigil without results. Ah, you know how many night vigils you've been to? You know, one day I had to ask the Lord, I said, Lord, I want to ask you a question. He said, yeah, go ahead. I said, I, I want to even know, do I really pray? He said, why do you ask that? I said, because before I open my mouth, you already say, what is the matter? Do you understand? Yes, sir. That means he took the toiling of prayer from my Amen. life. Wow. That's why we say we're going to take a class, the coordinates of prayer. When you understand how this thing works, it will be very easy for you. He says you are supposed to know the truth. Yes, you are supposed to know the truth. Yes, we told you when we first came to America, some people, they told me, come and do security. Come and drive. I said, I will not do those things. I will not do those things. Those guys are still there. It's been eight years now. It's been eight years now. Because I knew. And then they will parade, they will take pictures. Those friends, <laughs> they, are, they are funny people. They will take pictures on Facebook. Whole dollar. When, the day they collect their oh, salary. They will do it on Facebook. Yeah. Then someone will be showing me pictures. I'm building a house. I'm building a house. We are in the roofing stage. House that witches will fight you over. Wow. House that family members will throw charm. Exactly. House that even your own father will tell you to leave for him. Jesus said you will know the truth. Yes, sir. The yes, truth. Yes, sir. The yes, truth. Sir. You will know what was originally supposed yes, to be. He, he wasn't even saying you will know the truth about God. Exactly. That's not what Jesus was saying. Right. He was saying you will know yes, what sir. was originally supposed yes, to be sir. about your life. Yes, and then when you know it, you will walk freely yes, in it. I you will walk in it. Yes, sir. I receive. You know, you have some people today, they want to have children. Yes. Say, man, please pray for us. Man of God, pray for us to have children. But what, what? What will be the truth about that child? Exactly. Once that child is born, exactly. what will be the early taste of that child? Exactly. What, okay, fine. Now you've had this child. Have you ever, even your child that is walking, walking, doing be, 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 te, 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 have you ever looked at that child and said, what do I really know about this yes, child? Absolutely. What is this child supposed to absolutely. be? Or you can be guiding your child on presumptions. The last time I saw her singing in the shower, maybe I should put her in a singing school or in a dance school. No, see, presumptions. Jesus, Jesus knew exactly what he was supposed to do because the angel told his mother, Mary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now let, let's look at John chapter 5. <clears throat> let's show you another kind of truth. Kind and, and, and Jesus, it was true, it was in the life of Jesus that these different kinds of truths. Yes were revealed. Yes, sir. <clears throat> John chapter 5. John chapter 5. Look at verses 31. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Let's start from verses 30. Okay, let's read, please. Can, can you read, please? One, two, go. I can of my own self do nothing. You see that? Even Jesus himself. Yes, sir. You see, well, sorry about the... This, I think this particular Bible application does not use color. As in, you, it's not like the regular Bible that has the words of Jesus yes. marked in red. Yes, but to confirm, you can check your Bible. You will know that this is 
Jesus speaking. Yes, sir. This is Jesus talking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say, this is Jesus this talking. Is Jesus talking. Now, let's see what he said about it. So read it. One, two, go. I can of my own self do nothing. Stop. Read it again. I can of my own self do nothing. Read it again. I can of my own self do nothing. So even Jesus is testifying truthfully. By myself, I can't do anything. So if Jesus can even say this of himself, why do you think you can do things by yourself and expect to succeed. Why? Why? Why, why, why do you think? In case you don't know, according to the Bible, his mother was a virgin. Yeah. So, so, this is even Jesus, a pure child. Yes. Never needed blood transfusion. So, yeah. so that I will not say if somebody corrupted his blood. Mm -hmm. this, is this is Jesus. Pure Jesus. Did not have a girlfriend one day. Mm -hmm. So he was a virgin on the, all his life. Yes. Till he died. Yes. Pure. Yes. And in his pure condition, he says, uh, I can do nothing of myself. I can't. Now, if this is the case with Jesus, I know for a fact that my mother, Felicia, was not a virgin. But even if she was, I myself know of myself that I'm not a virgin. On that grounds, therefore, if Jesus, whom we're looking up to, can say he of himself can yes. do nothing. Yes, sir. But he relies on what he hears to yes, make judgment. Sir. Yes, sir. Notice that. Jesus says he has to rely on whatever he hears. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He has to rely on what he hears. To make a, a wise decision. Yes, sir. To make a wise choice. Yes, sir. Not just make a decision. A wise one. Yes, sir. Are you following this? Yes, sir. I don't know that you're getting it. We got it, sir. We got it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. See, a lot of people take decisions. Yes, sir. Please answer us. Yes, sir. Please answer us. Yes, sir. A lot of people take decisions. Yes, sir. They make decisions. Yes, sir. For instance, you decided to come to church today. Yes, sir. One question you should ask yourself is, was it a wise one? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Was it a wise one? Or was it something you considered an obligation? Because if you did, you missed it. If you saw it as an obligation, then you shouldn't have come at all. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Your decision should come your decision to come to church should be based on what you have heard yes. about the church. So when somebody says, I'm not going to that church, I've heard some things about it. You don't have to be angry with the person. The person may be correct. Jesus here is saying, as I hear. Yes. He didn't even say from the Holy Spirit. Yes. He didn't say from God Almighty. Yes. He said, based on what I hear, yes, sir. I make judgment. Yes, here, sir. the judgment here has to do with wise choice. Yes, sir. Wise choice. Wise choice. Wise choice. Wise choice. What did you hear about this person to marry this person? Mm -hmm. and, and here, it, it is not just relying on what you hear. Here, he's talking about relying on what you hear that you have confirmed. Yes, sir. Which informed your decision. You, you see that? Yes, sir. I don't know where you're getting yes, sir. it. What informed your decision? What informed that decision? That you have come to confirm. Yes, sir. Which is why even when people want to talk you out of it, yes. you just know. Yes, sir. Look, yes, sir. I know what I'm talking I about. Yes, sir. This thing. Yes, sir. I'm not going to do it. Yes, sir. Or I'm not going to fall for it. Yes, sir. Someone say, hey, let's go to class 65. Someone say, no, I'm not going to class 65. Say, oh, what? He said, didn't you hear about the shooting last week? And there have been some shootings in the past yeah. um, three years there. Yeah. What, what makes you think tonight will not be different? What makes you think tonight will be different? Tonight will not be different. What if I go and there's a shoot? Someone say, forget 
there, there, there's heavy police there now. There's cameras everywhere. There were cameras when they shot people. In fact, even if there were no cameras, I'm not going there. That place doesn't look safe. Three shootings already in the same spot within the space of four years. And the people who did the shooting brought their guns there. Yet there was still a security to search mm -hmm. them in the past three years when they entered. What makes you think that the person I'll be dancing next to is, is not holding a gun? Exactly. So I'm not going there. So I said, man, you're not going to have fun. Well, look, man. The thing here is not about having fun. The thing here is whether or not my decision is well informed. Wow. Yes, sir. You see? Are you getting what yes, we're saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Being well informed. Being well, well informed. informed. Yes, sir. Jesus said, I can of myself do nothing. nothing. But as I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. Is just unbiased. Um, That's what he said. You understand? Yes, so, sir. if you must know how to make decisions, Jesus is yes, telling sir. you, he's showing us here, don't be a man or a woman who makes a biased decision. Wow. You can be a biased person by nature. Yes, sir. And everyone is somehow biased, yes. right. particularly when it involves someone you care about. Yes. Right. Please answer us. Yes, right? sir. But at the end of the day, if you are going to make a decision, let it be unbiased. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't tell your daughter you can't go to that school because you love her so much. And don't tell your daughter she can't go to that school because you want to protect her from, from bad friends. Those, those are biased decisions. Right, right. Jesus said here, yeah, let your judgment. Can, can you see that? Yes, sir. We hear you, sir. It says, let your judgment be unbiased. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See that? And, and mind you, when Jesus was saying this, he was not a Christian. Yes. And I hope you know, to this day, Jesus yes. is still not a Christian. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the yes, people sir. he was talking to were not Christians. Yes, sir. Christianity began after Jesus died yes. and rose from the dead. Yes, sir. Jesus was still alive here. Yeah. And he's telling the people here. And the people he was talking to were not Christians. Yet he's telling them how to make choices. Wise choices. Yes, sir. Wise ones. Yes. Wise ones. Here yes, sir. and beyond bias in your judgment. Yes, sir. Here. Here. And they make an unbiased decision. Yes, sir. But this must be influenced by what? What you have come confirmed what yes, you have sir. confirmed yes, sir. about what you have heard yes, sir. how many of you know many don't do this it's true yeah. many don't do you understand yes, sir. we told you how somebody took our name to a celestial church of god pastor prophet yes to pray against yes, us yes sir and the prophet came to see us yes sir and, and According to the prophet, he later told us he wanted to test us. He said he wanted to test us. He said because for some reason, something told him, see the prophet you want to pray against. And he brought somebody pretending that the person needed prayer. And so when the person stood before us, what we were not telling, the person came, they brought the person for prayers concerning his wife. And, and they were pretending. And the prophet and his wife from Celestial Church of God, they were sitting. Some of us were there yes. that day. They brought, they brought a brother that his wife left him to Canada. They were narrating the story. She wants to carry the children to Canada, blah, blah, blah. But when we now want to pray for the guy, the Lord started telling us, tell us to tell the guy about his passport. Yes. That his passport has a missing number. And that has always been an issue. Even in his social, social security, they omitted one number. That has always been an issue. So I said, he, he said, I said, sir, okay, fine. They told your, your people, and I didn't know the people, the prophet and his wife that brought him were even prophets yeah. of Celestial Church of God. I wow. didn't even know. Mm -hmm. They just came that they heard about us. They brought this person for prayers. Right. I said, okay, let's pray. As we're about to pray, 
The Lord said, tell him about his passport. The last number is missing. His social security, the last number is, actually the middle number is missing. So I told him, I said, your passport, the last number. I don't know why the Lord is telling me about passport. He's not talking about your marriage. I said, the, the guy shouted, Jesus. I said, don't shout Jesus. I said, the, the last number on your passport is missing. One last, you know, like this yes. passport yes. number. Yes. He said, yes. I said, okay. The Lord will help you. They will issue you another one. I said, oh, your social security, I think it's the third number that is supposed to is omit. He said, yes. So, okay, I don't know. How, let's pray. Lord, show him mercy. Then the Lord said, now, nah, stop. Tell, the, tell his pastor to finish the prayer. So I asked the Lord, who is his pastor? The Lord said, that man sitting there is his pastor. Mm -hmm. So I said, you are a pastor. The Lord said, you will be the one to pray for him. Mm -hmm. That's where the man stood up and lifted up his hand. He said, ah, you are a prophet. Do you know so-so person? He yes. used to be a member of your church. Yes. He brought your name to yes. meet me for prayers. He, you see that? Yes, sir. But the past, that prophet, he was a wise man. He was doing what Jesus yes. is doing here. Yes. Based on what he has heard, yes, he sir. came to confirm. Yes. And we just bought new shoes that yes. day. I was wearing yes. new shoes yes. when the Lord said, give, give it to him. And meanwhile, the Lord told me to have a gift card. And yes. I didn't know why I had a gift card from Coles. So I said, take but, you see, he, the celestial church of God, prophet, yes, he did what many pastors in the Pentecostal circle will not do. Exactly. He, the celestial church of God, yes. prophet, did what Jesus does here. Yes. He heard, he came to confirm, mm -hmm. and he was well informed, unbiasedly. Oh. Somebody said, but he pretended. Who does not pretend? <laughs> you see that? Who does not pretend? But he did what Jesus was supposed to, what Jesus does. He made an unbiased decision. Mm. Then that day, he took the shoes. He said, let me make a covenant with you this day. We were at the parking lot. The Lord told me to see him off to his car. Mm. And I was just listening. He was just talking, talking. He said, I want to make a covenant with you. I make a covenant with you. Whoever attacks you is attacking me. He said, and I will know if somebody wants to attack you and I will attack the person. Yeah. I said, okay. And he will have left. And I have not spoken to him since then. He said, my covenant stand. I said, well, you are the one making the covenant. I don't know about you. He said, have you heard of Celestial Church of God? I said, I know Celestial Church of God very well. I mean, I'm coming from Nigeria. Right. Now, the point here is that Jesus said, I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is unbiased. You can be sure of that. Very unbiased. Now, the question here, well, why is Jesus bringing these positions? Because here, yeah, he wanted to address the issue of credibility. Yes. Yes, sir. He was trying yes. to bring up the issue of credibility because he knows ministers of the gospel have issues with credibility. And Jesus said, let me make it simple. Let me, make yes. you, let me give you an understanding Yes. About credibility. Yes, you know, we think credibility is, oh, this man of God does not womanize. Mm -hmm. This man of God does not sleep about. This man of God does not drink. This man of God does not do drugs. He does not carry money. So we say he is honorable and credible. Mm -hmm. That's nonsense. Right. That's morality. Right. Yes. That has nothing to do with credibility. Yes. Yes, sir. But you know, in the church today, we mistake, we mistake morality mm -hmm. for credibility. Yes, Meanwhile, they are not the same. Yes, sir. I can of myself do nothing. Yes, sir. But as I hear, I judge. So Jesus was a man who was always seeking for information. He was wow. always desiring to be abreast of information. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Follow this carefully. And my judgment is on by us because I seek not my own. You see that? You see what, what he meant by just? Yeah. You see why his judgment is on by us? He said, because I'm not after myself. Yes, I'm not sir. after my own personal pursuits. Yes, yes, if I'm after my personal pursuits, I'll be very unbiased. You see, when they brought the lady to Jesus and they said, mm -hmm. this woman was caught in the act of fornication. Fornication. Yes, sir. Fornication. He yes. said, he that is without sin, throw the first stone. See, he was not after himself. Yes, sir. 
But meanwhile, the people said, Moses said by the law, we should stone anyone who commits fornication. Jesus said, well, you that is without sin, throw the first stone. I mean, it's just simple. He didn't tell you, no, don't do it. I beg of you. Okay, keep me instead of that. He didn't do it. He said, anyone. You that is without sin. Yeah, throw the first stone. People have forgotten that. Yet they like to point fingers at others. Mm. They point fingers at others. You did this, you did that. What well, Jesus said, you that is without exactly. sin. Are you saying you are without errors? Through the first stone. Through the first stone. Through the first stone, he said. Okay. He said, because I seek not my own, but the will of the Father that sent me. Okay. Now. Read verses 31 now. One to go. If, if I, I bear witness, witness of myself, myself my, my witness, witness is not true. credible. The word true there, yeah, the word true, come on, man. The word true here is not the word aletia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's aletia. This is another word, yes. alites. Yes, sir. Say alites. Alites, alites. alites here yes. means credibility. credibility. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It means unnoticed. Ooh, unnoticed. There's no way you will not notice it. Mm. Yeah. No, that's not authentic. No. That's not authentic. Now, it's a good thing he brought that up. Please, here, this has nothing to do with authenticity. That's another thing again. Credibility is not authenticity. A, please, oh, you can write it down. Credibility is, is a complete opposite of authenticity. We will come to authenticity. So, it's a good thing he, in fact, I guess the Spirit of the Lord prompted him to say it. Yes. Credibility has nothing to do with authenticity. Do you know how many people who are authentic and not credible? A snitch. Yeah. When you look at those who do drugs, a snitch. A guy who snitches on his don, on his mm -hmm. capon, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. to the police. Yes. The information is credible. Yes. No, sorry, the information is authentic. Yes, sir. He's authentic, yes, sir. but he's not credible. Because he's, he's going for, he, you see, his information, he's seeking his own. Yeah. But Jesus here says, if I bear witness of myself, my, my, my witness is not credible. So what do I do? He said, there is another that will bear witness of me, and I know that the witness... Which he witnesses of me is, is credible. Yes, Alites. Alites. He mentions it again. Alites. Alites. So, the, the, so here Jesus is saying, I, I'll let others do yes, the speaking for yes, me. Sir. I'll let others speak for me. Yes, sir. I'll let others speak on my behalf. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Mm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we said credibility. Say it. Credibility. credibility has nothing to do with morality. With morality. And it is not connected. It is not okay, connected. Let, let, put it this way. Say credibility, credibility has nothing to do, nothing to do with, morality with morality and authenticity. And authenticity. Yeah. You get to see now they are all separate. Go to John chapter 4. Here, we want to see something. When Jesus met the woman by the well. Look at verses. Um, Jesus actually met this woman by the well. He said, give me water to drink because the Bible says he was tired, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the woman said, um, you are a Jew, because she saw the way Jesus was dressed. Yes. Yeah. Said, the Jews have no dealings with we, the Samaritans. Yes. Why are you asking me to give you water to drink? Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus said, well, if you knew the gift of God, yes, sir. and he that is asking you to give him water to drink, yes. you will not only ask him to give you water to drink, he will give you water to drink. Yes. Mm -hmm. And out of you, the waters will flow unto eternal life. Amen. Well, the woman said, you have nothing to draw it. And how dare you say, you give me water to drink and I'll never thirst anymore. Anyway, since you insist, give me the water to drink then. 
Jesus said, if you knew the gift of God, that's in verse 10, and he that is telling you to give me water to drink, you will ask him to give you water to drink. Well, the woman said, no problem. Give me the water to drink, the water you told me about, mm -hmm. so that I don't have to come to this well again yeah. and fetch water. Yes, sir. The next thing Jesus said is, go call your husband. The woman said, I have no husband. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus said, because you have had five. Mm -hmm. And the one you are currently with mm -hmm. is not your husband. Mm -hmm. Now, please look up. Does that look like a woman who is moral? No. no. Please answer no. now. No, sir. Now, we may want to give all the cosmetic excuse by saying, oh, right. yeah, you know, men have not been fair to her, right. uh, it's sexism, yes. the women gender have not been favored by the men of this age, yeah. men are not interested, the rubbish women are not that. Yes, sir. It didn't matter. Jesus said, you've had five. Five. Mm -hmm. And the one you are even with right now, which, by law, no Jew was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. She was a Jew. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. She was an Israelite. Right. Yes, sir. Those from Judah were called Jews. Those from Samaria, from Israel, were called Samaria, yes, Samaritans. Mm. But they were all Hebrews together. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, by law, she was not even supposed to be with a man who is not even her husband. Right. Yes, sir. That's gross adultery because she was already married Five yes, times already. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We say five is the number of grace, right? Yes. Our yes, own marital adultery exceeded grace. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. No, yes, right now she's on a vacation. She's with a boyfriend now. She has, see, she's those kind of women who have come to that conclusion to say, marriage is not for me, you know. Yes. It's just better I meet a man who can be living together, who can be doing trial marriage. But no commitment. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And Jesus now looks like a prospect. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, with prophecy. Yeah. Which woman will not want exactly. someone exactly. who can prophesy? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and the woman was very spiritual. Right. Do you know how many Christian sisters who want to marry prophets? Yes, ah. So Jesus now was coming like the seventh guy now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, go to verses 18. In fact, let's start from verse 17. Okay. Read. The woman okay, said, go to verse 16. Please, please, don't read as though it is over for you. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Is it over for you? No. Sir. Okay. Please, let's read. Jesus said unto her, Go, go on, on thy husband. husband. Come here. The, the woman answered and said, said I have, I have no husband. husband. Jesus, Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have, have no husband. husband. For thou hast had five, five husbands. Five husbands. Yes, sir. Not boyfriends. Husbands. Do you understand? Yes. Five husbands. Yes. You see, mega, mega superlative adultery. It exceeded the number of grace. Yes. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. Five husbands, Jesus said. Let's read on. You see the word truly here truly. is the word alites. He said because of how truthful you are, you are credible. Mm. You see that? You see why credibility has nothing to do with morality? Yes. Yeah. Because morally by estimation, a woman who had been with five men, five husbands, mm -hmm. and now she's with a man who is not even her husband. Yes, sir. I, I thought Jesus would be saying, Kai! Wonder shall never end. Your case is very pathetic. How do we solve this now? Please don't let any priest know because they know they will cut off your head. Yeah. Hi, sister. Heesh. Why are you this morally indecent? Yeah. You are, why are you this morally loose? Yes, sir. Jesus did not do so. He said, Madam, you are credible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alites. That's the meaning of the word truly yeah. here. Yes, sir. She may not have Alitia. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Because she has not been yes, a beneficiary yes, of Alitia in marriage. Yes, sir. 
Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. What is Alitia again? Sincere. Something that was originally supposed to be. Yes. It means sincerely yes. now. Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. The thing that is straightforward truth. Yes. The straightforward yes. truth is that it was supposed to be like this. It is not. Exactly. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. What was it supposed to be concerning our marriage? It was she supposed to be one, one man, one woman. One woman. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? That was the original, yes. the original plan. Yes. Sir. Divorce was not part of the original right. plan. He yes. says, because of the hardness of your heart, Moses allowed you to go and divorce. Yes. Yes. But from the beginning, it was it not was so. So, so the early test of marriage is that she was supposed to be what? One man, yes. one man, one woman. Yes. Right? Yes. And the man was supposed to cleave to her yes. and not let her go, right? Yes. But it didn't work out that way. Yeah. Five husbands now. Yes. The second one did not cleave. Third. Fourth, fifth. Mm -hmm. Now, she is not the one with six. cleaving to the number six. Yeah. So you can see by all standards, there is no alitia in her life. Yeah. So she doesn't even know what it was supposed to be in her life. So which means in the life of such a woman, maritally, she was never free. Yeah. Never yeah. free. Exactly. Exactly. Because Jesus said, you will know the alitia, mm -hmm. what it was supposed to be. And then you will be free. Yes, sir. Jesus, yes, says, ah, there's no alitia concerning your marriage, but madam, you are credible. Mm. You, are, you are a credible woman. It's just that you are unfortunate in marriage. Yes. I don't know where you are getting. You see why this woman could give anything for Jesus? Yes. She went to gather the whole city. This morally so-called indecent, unfortunate marital victim I, you know, appreciated the fact that Jesus commended her credibility. Yes. Yes, he said, Madam, others may interpret it as you being loose, mm -hmm. you being careless, your standard is too high, this yes. and that. Yes. Jesus gave it, he said, Madam, ah, you are credible. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Unashamedly, you say you have no husband. Yes, right. sir. Unashamedly. Say, Madam, you are credible. Yes, sir. So you see, credibility has nothing whatsoever. To do with morality. Mm. But the unfortunate thing is that we try to judge people on the grounds of morality. Right. Mm -hmm. And because the person looks very morally indecent, mm -hmm. and the person truthfully tells you, this is what I did. Mm -hmm. Now you say, kai, 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 kai. this person is not credible. Jesus said, Madam, mm -hmm. you are credible. Yes, sir. Ah! And it also means what? Unnoticed, yes, right? Sir. Yes, which sir. means, which means, Madam, mm -hmm. because of who you are, there's no way man will not notice you. Wow. That's what he's telling this one. Kai, Madam, there's no way. Wow. There's no way a man will not notice you. Wow. You are very, very, very straight. You are very, very, you, you don't hide anything. Wow. Right. Say, madam, you are credible. It's just that you were unfortunate in marriage. But do you know, many pastors don't see it that way. It's true. Right. Yes, sir. Because true. for such a woman, mm -hmm. there's no place for her in church. It, in today's modern church, yeah, yeah, yeah. please answer. It's true. It's true. There's, no place, right? there's no place for her in church. Right. Yes, sir. Where all the children have different fathers. Bad influence. Right. Yes, sir. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Daddy A came to pick oh. uh, Jenny yeah. for the weekend. Right. Daddy B will pick uh, Cassandra next week. That's right. not, that's not right. Daddy C will pick uh, Collins Cut. tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. As this one is driving into the parking lot, this one is leaving. Drop off. And mommy is seeing a new boyfriend. Yesterday she cried over miscarriage. Yeah, you still want to do me? You are still, you are still trying to have children. <laughs> Jesus said, Mother, you are too much. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are credible. Yeah. Say, Mother, you are credible. Yes, sir. You see? Now, 
You see what Jesus said? I, I don't always seek my own. I don't judge. I don't judge biasly. Yes, yes sir. I'm always unbiased in my yes. judgment. Always unbiased in my judgment. Unbiased. Unbiased. Honestly, this woman, incredible. incredible woman. Ah, and you see why it was easy for Jesus to tell this woman that he was the Messiah. This was the first woman Jesus told he was the Messiah. The disciples have been following him. He did not tell them anything. And tell them anything. He couldn't even trust them enough. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. You see, a woman like this, she morally she will look like somebody you can't trust. But Jesus is saying that's the kind of person you should trust. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, you see, let's tell you something. Yes. In my personal experiences, you see, over over and over again, you know, you know, there's a way I, I'm a very, very open person. Yeah. You know, and it's it's my weakness, mm -hmm. honestly. And I'm trying not to be open again. Yes. But let's say something. I have been open. I can be so free. Do you understand? I, I, I'm so free that even those around me know my PIN number to my ATM card. Right. Do you understand? Yeah. They, they know, they know yeah. to this day, they yeah. know my PIN number. Yeah. Do you understand? Awesome. I'm that. Yeah. Sure. Do you understand? Right. I can say, take the card, go and do this. Do you understand? I'm exactly. that. And of course, I can be trusting, which means yes, I can trust you easily. Yes, sir. Yes, and so I can just sit with you and express oh. myself, say what I want to say. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Whether I mean it or not, I can say what I want to say. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, I'm giving you my own personal experience. Yes, sir. But do you know, out of the people I've met in my life that I've even done that to, the people who have reciprocated the same gesture towards me, if you are to rate one to a hundred, they are not up to two percent. Quite frankly. Because let's say I disagree with someone now. Even the things I opened up to say to you is what the person will go and say. But you know, sometimes I'll be saying, I'll do my own, but really I will not do anything. I don't do it. It's not in me to say because um, you did this to me, what you told me in confidence, I will expose you. No. I will never do it. No. It's just not in me. Exactly. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Irrespective yes. of what you already did to me, yes. that what I told you in confidence, yes. everybody yes. had it in town. Yes. I'll still never exactly. say the things you told exactly. me. I don't do it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm. Sometimes when I look back, I thank God for the opportunity the Lord granted me that I joined the fraternity I used to be part of when I was in college. We don't do that in the fraternity. It's forbidden. Don't do that. Now, I'm telling you, it's not Bible that taught me that. Do you understand? It was a training I received from the fraternity. Do you understand? I don't give up on people. In fraternity... It's a training I received. Yes. Yes, it's not God that taught me. Yes. It's fraternity. Mm -hmm. When I came into Christ, it was just a virtue that I had. It was a good one. Yes, mm -hmm. it is a good one. I'm not saying I celebrate the fraternity. I didn't learn it in church. That's what I'm telling you. Yes. Church people are the ones even doing me harm. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> That's the thing. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> Quite frankly, no fraternity member ever did me harm. As in those in the same fraternity, none of them did me harm. But church members have done me. Many have. But you know, sometimes when I say I want to react, I remember, man, this was not the training I received. Mm. It's amazing that it is not Bible that comes to my mind. Mm. I just remember, no, we don't do this. Yeah. When I was in the fraternity, we didn't do this. So why should I do that to, not even to a child of God? Mm -hmm. What are we trying to say? Here, you are looking at someone who may be morally down. Yes, sir. By the standards of men. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes. But highly credible. Yes, sir. Jesus could trust this lady with a divine secret that yes, he was sir. the Messiah. Yes. That they were waiting for. His own disciples were with him shouting, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were looking for food to eat. Mm. <laughs> See, it's good that you and I yes, sir. should start beginning or should begin. Yes, sir. When I say start beginning, they both, that's tautology. Yes. They should, you and I should begin yes, to start seeing people 
the way Jesus sees people. I receive it. I receive, I receive it. it. That Jesus yes, could trust more yes, sir. those who were morally decadent yes, than those who were morally excellent. Yes, he trusted him. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, the fraternity I did on, in campus was in Africa, Nigeria. Yes, sir. But it so happened one day, I was in a place, I was actually preaching somewhere in a church, and I preached. So somehow I made reference to the fraternity that I was part of. I didn't call the name. But somebody was listening, and notice certain pointers I used. So he was quick to decode him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was quick to decode. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This preacher yeah. was, was part of our fraternity before. Yeah. So while I was preaching, I noticed he gave me a signal. Mm -hmm. He did a fraternity signal. I can't forget. I know all those things. I did it for years. And I was a high priest in the fraternity. Mm -hmm. I initiated people. I groomed them, trained people. Yes. Mm -hmm. So... He gave me a signal. <laughs> I laughed. I said, I don't do these things anymore. Many, many years ago, I've dropped this thing. After the service, he came to meet me. He introduced himself. He was trying to speak to the fraternity. I said, no, yeah. I don't do those things anymore. See, I'm in Christ now. He said, well, but there are, there are some pastors who are still part of it. I said, well, that's them, but I don't do those things anymore. Right. Then he said to me, he said, I, no problem. He said, in any case, this is my phone number. He gave me his card. He said, I will tell others in the fraternity that there's a pastor who used to be part of us. I will tell him about yeah. you. I said, no problem. I said, let them come and receive salvation. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then he said, no, not necessarily that. They are Christians, you know. He believes that yeah. coming to church is what yeah. makes a Christian. Right. So he said, they are Christians, but uh, this is what I will do. I will tell them, you know, we we'll always help our own, you know. If you need help financially, let yeah. us know we will support your church. Then he called one pastor's name. He said, Pastor so so, so he's in Connecticut. We support him too. Sometimes when he's not able to pay church rent, we give him money too. Mm -hmm. So I laughed. I said, no, don't worry. The Lord who called us, he will provide. Yes, so okay, no problem. Now, there's a reason why we say that. How many Christian brothers yes. who grew up in your neighborhood yes. can say that to you, that they will support you yes. in your ministry? Yes. Because morally now, looking at those fraternity folks, yeah. I, I, what, what is the money of fraternity got to do with church? The offering you collect, do you know where it's coming from? It's true. Even the money they pay you at work, do you know where it's coming from? Exactly. Well, the point here, the point here is, those are the kind of people who may want to labor bad. Yeah, yeah. Not moral. Not moral, right? Yes. Yes. Evil. Yes. Please answer us, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But such a brother, yes, sir. <laughs> now I'm calling a brother in Christ now because he came to church. Yes, it's true. Such a brother mm -hmm. has a little taste. Yes. You know why? Yes. Because he honestly told me, yes. I would, this is what we do. This is who I am. Yes. I come to church. Oh. Like this lady, she told Jesus. Because, you know, sometimes we think that those that will really help us in life yes, sir. must be Christian brothers oh, and sisters. No. Jesus had 12 men who could not win a soul. Do you know that? The disciples that followed Jesus mm -hmm. for three years did not win one soul. Not one. Yeah. This woman who was morally decadent by moral standards, went to gather the whole city for yes. Jesus. Yes, sir. I said, come and preach to us. Yes. Why Jesus' disciples were looking for what to eat? Food. They were looking for food. Yes, sir. They were looking for food. This woman, yes. Jesus said, ah, madam, you are credible. Yes. This woman went to gather. Jesus did not even tell her, go and call exactly. the people. The only thing, the only person Jesus told her to go and call was her husband. Yes. Jesus said, no. He's not even my husband. We only live together. I will go and gather the whole city. Yes, and yes. truly, if you read this whole chapter, she brought the whole city yes. of Samaria yes. to the well. Yes. This woman, but his own disciples, they were eating Subway. 
This one was, this one was eating chicken nuggets. This one was doing this. Then I said, Jesus, please. I, 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 look, I look at my shitted for three years. Can't you see? I need to be eating healthy. I need to be eating... This woman, yes, sir. morally, mm. you know, mm -mm. You, 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 she, <laughs> she, she is not even an apostle, oh. right. no ordination. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, Madam, you are credible. Yes. Do you know this remark Jesus made, this commendation Jesus gave this woman, yes. to this day, Jesus never gave his apostles any of such commendation. Do you know, to this yes, day, sir. not Apostle Peter, Jesus never commended his apostles for anything. Jesus mm. never commended them for anything. There were only three people Jesus commended in his life. This woman, mm -hmm. John the Baptist, mm -hmm. and the woman who brought the alabaster box, Mary, yes. the sister of Martha. Yes. These are the only three. In fact, one prostitute too, number four. Mm. One prostitute. When Jesus was invited to his to yep. by the Samir, uh, by the Pharisee to his house, yes, sir. Yeah. a prostitute was using her head to wipe Jesus, yeah. and yeah. she sprayed her perfume. Yes. And the Pharisee said Jesus was a sinner. Mm -hmm. He calls himself a prophet, and he cannot tell that this is a prostitute caressing him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, "Madam, go. You've done a good work. Yeah. You are crazy." See, see, Jesus, you would think that the kind of people he will commend in his life. He will honor and give credibility to were people who were morally excellent. Zacchaeus was a crook. Yes. Zacchaeus. Yes. He was a criminal, an online criminal. Yes. Yes. Superlative Yahoo yes. done. Yes. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, Jesus was having lunch with him. And don't forget, the Pharisees complained yes. about it. Yes. They say he's eating with sinners and all that. Yes, but Jesus found these people yes. trusting. Yes, he, was so, he was so comfortable being in their midst than to be with the so-called morally excellent. Yes, because even Jesus knew the standards these men have set is too high for yes. him to even... Yes. Jesus even fell below their standards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Fell below their standards. Yes, yeah. But the people Jesus was commending, he was acknowledging, were credible, were people who men will push aside. It's true. Morally. So... Here, we're telling you, be careful what you are trying to live up to. You are trying to measure up to a standard a man of God is setting because of his sermons. It doesn't work that way. And you now, you are trying to judge another man of God because of what another man of God you like has said. So, <laughs> let's say something. Did you ever read? That even though something, his eyes were removed, his hair was cut, yes. and the Philistines pounced on him yes. and tied him up. Yes. Did you ever read that in that condition, mm -hmm. yes. in that condition, yes, sir. he could still pray and God yes, would hear him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, are you hearing? Yes, sir. In yes, that sir. condition, yes, sir. he could still pray. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. In spite of his so-called indecency, yes. he could still pray and God still heard him. Yes. You that is so decent, even <laughs> you that is so clean, you that <laughs> you that is so. All in all, you pray. Boma Boma is still pressing you in the night. Marie's spirit is visiting you in the shower. <laughs> Everything is pursuing you. But something, he still said, Lord. He even told God, let me die with these people. That guy. If his hair began to grow, don't yes. you think he would have received the sight? Yes. Is it not the same God who gives sight? Yes. If God can hear his prayer, you think yes. he couldn't have told God, yes. Lord, give me, restore my sight? Yes. God will still do it. Yes. He, 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 that's why when you read Hebrews chapter 11, mm -hmm. 
His name was mentioned. Yes. Right? Yes, the Bible says, true faith, they subdued kingdoms. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, Taught the mouth of lions, yes, right? Yes, sir. Then the Bible says, even when God made deliverance available, they rejected yes, it. Yes, sir. So Samson was among the people who told God, no need. I don't yes, want, sir. it's better I go. Yes. I've already delivered the children of Israel who gave me up for 20 years. It's amazing. The people who gave Samson up were his own people. Yes, sir. And these were the people he delivered for 20 years. For 20 years. You think Jesus didn't learn? He read all these things. Jesus could make references to Noah. Yes. Make references to Jonah in the fish's yes, belly. Yes. Jesus was well read. Yes, sir. Even told the people, go and read about marriage. Yes. One man, one woman. Uh -huh. Told them about that. Yes. Jesus was so well read. That the only group of people he could trust mm -hmm. by knowledge, knowledge, based on what he has heard, and our priest were the indecent. You see the Roman Catholic Church today. Who do you think built it? Christians mm -hmm. or the mafia? The, mafia. the yeah. mafias built the church. The church you go to. Mm -hmm. The mafias built it. Yeah. They pour money. Yeah. Why? Because somehow, some way, they love God. Yes. They yeah. don't know how to find Him, <laughs> but they will kill somebody on the street yeah. and come and meet priests and yeah. confess their sin. Yeah. Father, forgive me for our sin. Yes. Yeah. You understand? Yes, sir. Say 30 Hail Marys and three are our fathers. Yeah. Right. The church is doing bazaar. Who gives the most? The dawn. Yeah. Yeah. is angry. Yeah. Why is our priest acting this way? He is always encouraging this mafia this thing. Is it in mafia this thing? Mm. Jesus said. He did not come for the righteous. That's right. Go to Luke chapter 40. Luke chapter 22. Let's show you something. But his disciples, you would think, Jesus, Jesus did not trust them more. Please, you, you need to understand. Jesus never trusted his disciples till he died. Please, please, say it. Say Jesus. He never his until he died. Not until. Till he died. Not until he died. What do you mean until? If you say until, it would mean that he began to trust them when he was about to die. He did not trust them till he died. Right? Yes, sir. He told his disciples once. When I sent you into, did you lack anything and all that, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Then later on, <laughs> let's read from verses 36. In fact, let's start from verses 35 to 38. Please read to us, all right? If this is our last scripture today, we'll continue again. See, we're seeing another form of truth. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, and this sir. should also help you inform your decision. Yes, sir. About who you want to accept and who you are rejecting. Yes, yes sir. So, yeah. yes. Do, do you understand? Yes, sir. Let's read now. And he said unto them, them when, when I sent you without purse and, and script and, and shoes, lack you anything? Did you lack anything? That's what he's saying. Yes. Okay, don't uh, scripts. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, Sanders. Okay, so let's start again now. One to go. And he said unto them, when I sent you without purse, and sandals and shoes, lacking anything, and they said nothing. Then said unto them, but now he that had the purse let him take it, and let you have sandals and shoes, and he that has no sword let him have sandals and buy one. Now, now. He's trying to let them know. I've taken care of you all these years. Right. Anyway, I'll be dying soon. He didn't really say it here, but he had already told them before. Yes. Yes. But what he was just trying to tell them is this. The days of taking care of you are over. Exactly. Yes, You're on your own now. But Jesus, why would you come to that conclusion? Because these men were not credible. They didn't believe him. Everything he told them. Yes, from beginning to the end, they never believed him. 
It was when he rose from the dead and came to them. He began to even reprimand them. If you read Mark 16, yes. verses 14. Yes. He reprimanded them for their own belief. Mm -hmm. He said, why? Why are you people like this? He said, there's no point in taking care of you. You are now on your own. Now, let's read. The part I want you to see is, is the next one. Let's read now. One, two, go. For I say unto you. Now, pause. He's even telling disciples, go and sell your clothes. Who would like to buy? This man don't even have anything. Okay, let's read now. For I say unto you, that this that is written must be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors for the things concerning me. You see that? He told them, go and buy knives now. Go and sell your clothes and buy swords. Yeah. He said, because we must fulfill this prophecy that I was accounted among the transgressors. You see that? You see that? Yes, sir. He said, it must be an account that I'm with the wrong people. Yes, sir. Not with the righteous. Yes, the word record means account. Yes, sir. That I'm among the transgressors. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The morally indecent. Yes, sir. He said, it has been written. Until a man of God gets to that point where he's listed as someone who is part of the indecent mm -hmm. in the community, he has not fulfilled purpose. Mm -hmm. And if you think it is just, it is just being morally mm -hmm. excellent right. all the way, you missed it. Yeah. Otherwise, your pastor is no more righteous than Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your own pastor. The one who is telling you Live holy. That pastor is not even as holy as Jesus. Yeah, Jesus said prophecy landed me with the transgressors. But if you study it, is it prophecy? No, not necessarily. Even though prophecy was there, Jesus himself was more comfortable with the wrong folks. It's true. He was more comfortable with this. The Pharisees were very moral, mm -hmm. very excellent. Jesus said these ones, they are white saprocas. Mm. Mm. Okay. And of course, one of the disciples said, Lord, we have two swords. Jesus said, it's enough. It's good. It's good. You see? And then one of them used the sword to cut off somebody's ears. Yes, sir. Question, why did Jesus wait till the ear was cut? Mm -hmm. Jesus said, no, we must fulfill this prophecy that we are all transgressors. Ah. So when the ear fell off, Jesus now picked it and hid the guy. But he waited for the ears to be. You think he didn't know? Was he not the one who told them to go and get yes. swords? Yes. Now he's telling them, it's Jesus said, let's show them we are crazy people too. We are a gang. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Finally. Go to John chapter 10. We'll close with that. I think we had a good bargain today. Praise God. Yes, sir. Amen. You sound upset now. No, we're not upset. John chapter 10. John chapter 10. Let's look at verses 14 to verses 41. <clears throat> John chapter 10. Here, Jesus See something here. Let's start from verses 38 into verses 41. Can we do that? Yes, sir. But okay, now let's read from verses 37. One, two, go. If I do not the works of my father, stop, stop. Please don't read as though you are frustrated. Please. Yeah. Who is frustrating you? Okay, you are morally excellent, all right? You are credible, all right? You are all of the above. Amen. Okay. All right, be comforted with that. Okay, let's read. One, two, go now. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though you believe me not, believe the works, that you may know and believe. This was when Father is in me, and I in him. This was when they wanted to stone him, when he said, I am my Father, I am one. Yes, sir. Then he said, is it not written in your law? I said, he are God, and all that. Okay, now let's read on. Now, verses 41, read. And many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle, 
that but all things, things that John spoke of this man were true. Let me see that. Jesus said, if I bear witness of myself, my witness will not be credible, but others will do it for me. Yes. Now, people tried to kill Jesus. Jesus escaped. Yes. He escaped again. Yes. And ran away to where John the Baptist yes. <laughs> used to baptize people. Yes. Now, if you study the story of John the Baptist, John the Baptist used to live in the city. Yes. He ran away to Jordan. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, Jesus felt that the safest place to go to is to run there. Now, ideally, with Jesus running away, he is somebody, follow this carefully, he is somebody you will naturally want to call a failure in ministry. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Right. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Headquarters is in Capernaum. Now, you are around, crowd are meeting you in the city. Mm -hmm. The same more you preach, some people got angry. Jesus ran yeah. away. <laughs> there is a, yes, sir. <laughs> people came to church. Yes, sir. They saw the door still locked. Yeah. So where is Pastor Jesus? <laughs> so say they saw him around Jordan. Ah. Is that where service is holding today? No, no, no. He didn't tell us he will be in Jordan. Right. Where are the flyers? Mm -hmm. so, so the people came. And found Jesus. Mm -hmm. Truly, he's in Jordan. Yeah. What was he doing there? Baptizing anyone? Baptizing people? No. Preaching? No. He was just there, staying. Yeah, of course. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, is this how you want to end? Mm. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> it looks like ministry has, has failed, though. Because ideally today, if we were to look at our world today, yes, sir. you would call Jesus a failure in ministry. Easy. He didn't, he ran away. Yeah. Jesus again. Yes, sir. Heavily anointed. Ran away. So they waited. Jesus was not preaching. He was not doing anything. So guess what? The people themselves began to preach by themselves. What were they preaching? They said, John did no miracles. But all that John said about Jesus is credible. It's credible. All it is. And so when they began to preach to themselves, read what happened. And many believed on Jesus. Many believed on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yet Jesus did not tell them to preach. Exactly. He was just there on vacation. He would be looking at the people. The people, the people were preaching about him. He's looking at them. Mm -hmm. And what were they preaching? They said, ah, John, can you imagine? See the disrespect. They said, John the Baptist never worked any miracle one day. But everything John said about Jesus is credible. Credible. You see, we pray that the churches of Jesus Christ around yes, the world mm -hmm. will have this. Amen. 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 But today, what we have in the church mm -hmm. is that we judge ministers mm -hmm. and we judge members yes, on the platform of morality. Yes. Yes. And morality is not the picture. Let's, let's, let's even ask you one question. Let's ask you one question. Brother A, that is demon possessed. Are you listening? Yes, sir. You see, in the business school, there's what we call case studies. Yes. I don't know that you do case yes. studies in your school. So I did that too. Even in master's program, you yes. do case studies. So, right. so let's give you a case study. Yes, sir. Brother A is demon possessed. Right. Sister Y is demon possessed. Yes, Follow this carefully. Pastor cast out the devils from Brother A, casted out the devils from Sister Y. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir. I don't know that you're getting yes, it. Yes, sir. We're listening, sir. But Pastor, looking at Pastor's life, he's like he's something indecent. Yeah. Morally indecent. Mm -hmm. 
Right? Yes, sir. But brother A and sister Y, next service, you will see another demon manifest again. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But they are very, very excellent. Yes. But pastor looks very indecent. Too. Right. Are you, are you following yes. this? Yes. Now, nah, brother, he asked that why. Say, Pastor, you yourself, you are not, you are not morally uh, 100%. Yes. Question, we need to know now who is talking. Is it you or the demons in you? Yes. That gotta be demons. Because, Pastor, God finds Pastor credible. Exactly. Which is why he poured the spirit. Exactly. You that is excellent. God can't even exactly. trust you. Even demon is trusting now. So now the case study is this now. Who is more credible? The one that demons you always cast that devils from. Now we're not saying what they are even saying. Is not true. It's true. Yes, the question is, are they credible? On the grounds of morality. Because they are clean. The demons are gone. Pastor is not possessed. Though. You see, the thing here is, there's a difference. Are you listening? Yes, sir. We'll finish preaching already. There's a difference. There's a difference. Between one who has weakness in the flesh. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir. There's a difference between one who has weakness in the flesh yes, sir. and another person who is under the influence or oppression or possession yes, sir. of demonic forces. There's a big difference. Mm -hmm. You may never get, and let's say something, the most challenging between both is the one who has weakness in the flesh. Because that one, you can't cast it out. Because it's not a demonic thing. Mm -hmm. It's a flesh thing. Mm -hmm. They did not make themselves that way. It was how the flesh was. Mm -hmm. Paul talked about the law in the flesh. Yes. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. This one that has a demonic thing, mm -hmm. the demon can be casted out and you are free. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, one thing people don't know about a man of God, when you see a man of God, have you not noticed a man of God says he's a man of God? Yes. Please answer us now. Yes, he says he's a man of yes, God. Sir. And there are proofs to show yes, that he's truly a man yes, of God. Yes, sir. Why can't God take away all the weaknesses? Yes, right? Yes, sir. Why can't God take away the weaknesses of a man of God? Let, let's show you one final scripture. I've finished. I'm not. Second Corinthians chapter 12. So that you know. Yes, what a man of God. <coughs> deals with. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Yes, sir. We'll finish. I want us to leave here in, in the next five minutes. Right? So it all depends on you if yes, you can sir. read fast. Yes, but as you read fast, let it make sense. Yes, sir. Okay, let, let's read. One, two, go. It is not expedient for me, darkness to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knows. Such as one part of the third heaven. And I knew such a man. Now, here, now, follow this, look up, please. Already, the word body here that is being translated is actually supposed to be flesh. Yes, Do you understand? Yes, now, here, he's already telling you the impact mm -hmm. visions are already having on the physical body. Yes. See, see you know, one, one thing people don't understand is that when they see a man of God that is weak, maybe has one, one, one challenge, mm -hmm. one area, mm -hmm. 
you do you understand? Yes, sir. Maybe with women, maybe with smoking, maybe with this. What people don't know is that visions, yes, sir. visions Vision. has a lot of impact yes, on the physical body. Wow. It is, you see this body? Yes, sir. Depending on the level and the flight you took in the visions of God, yes, sir. Yes, sir. in the spirit. Depending on where you entered in the realm of the spirit, yes, sir. it can pieces this physical body. Jesus. Do you understand? Yes, That's why you can see a man of God sick. He will never tell you. And for him to come out to come and preach, it is by the spirit. You will see move of the spirit. But he gets home, he's swallowing pills. He's taking Advil. He's taking this. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Because of the impact. Yes, sir. Another one, it, it can be with women. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Hmm. There are places in the realm of the spirit the man of God can enter. His sight only acknowledges beauty. Mm. So a sister can walk into church, beautiful sister, immediately it reminds him of what he has seen. Yes. And he finds himself attracted to that person. Mm. And he cannot explain it. The impact. The impact. You understand this thing. Wow. Read. Read verses 3. Let's read. One, two, go. Now, notice, he said he was caught up in the third heavens, right? In the yes, third sir. heavens. Okay, let's read now. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. Stop. Now, remember, what he is telling the people now yes. happened 14 years earlier. Yes. Are you following this? Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, from that period, 14 years ago, yes, when he started having that vision, when he had that vision, Everything changed. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. Now, he started going through challenges yeah. for the past 14 years that he was going to tell the Corinthian church for the first time. time. So he could have died with the secret. Yes. Yes. But he made it open. Oh. Okay, now let's read from verse 3. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, but I know it. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. You see that? Yes, sir. Words. He heard things that he cannot utter. Yes, sir. Okay. Read now. Of such an one will I glory. Come on, let's read. I will not glory. Hey, hey, stop. Hey, this, this is suggesting that you don't really read your Bible. You should be familiar with words like this. Okay, let's read now. One, two, go. Of such an one will I glory. Yet of myself I will not glory. But in my infirmities. You see that? Now, what has infirmities got to do with visions? He's telling you. Those things that I saw, what I saw, that were not even permitted for me to testify of. The things that I saw impacted my body. Now, what the infirmities are, to this day, the church does not know. Some say weakness of sight. That was not the case. Some started saying he started suffering cataracts. It's not true. It was not cataracts. Some started saying he, we, because of that he started limping. That has nothing to do with that. I disagree with that. Different positions. To this day, nobody knew what that infirmity was because he knew if he tells the people this is what the infirmity is, people, knowing who they were, they will become very judgmental. So he calls it infirmity. But some of us, by privilege, who have been granted grace yes, to enter certain corridors yes, in the realm sir. of the spirit, mm -hmm. I know what happens to yes. my physical body. Yes. Listen, a dem somebody demon-possessed comes, stands here, and will touch the person, and the person is already vibrating. Do you know what is happening in our exactly. own body? If a demon cannot stand what we carry, do you know how, how do we control what is exactly. in us? Okay, let's read now. It's of such an one will I glory. Yet of myself, I will not glory. You see that? He's talking about himself. He said, I will celebrate the one. He's talking about himself. I will celebrate that guy who left this body into that vision. I will celebrate him. Wow. But him leaving to go and come back, when he came back, what my body began exactly. to suffer. Do you, do you understand? Yes, sir. Because when you enter into the realm of the spirit, yes, sir. in the visions of God, yes, depending sir. on where the spirit of God wants to take yes, you to, yes, you find yourself 
leaving your body. Now, whatever that soul of yours yes, sir. Yes. Are encountered, yes. attracted, the yes. atmosphere, they will bring it back into the physical body. Jesus. And the impact. Yes, sir. As long as that soul remains in that body. Yes, sir. Notice I didn't say spirit. Soul. soul. Because this thing is a soul thing. Soul. Yes, sir. You don't understand. I do. That's why emotions, mm. depending on where you entered, it yes. can impact your body. Yes. Wow. yes. Yes. That's why you can see sometimes a man of God have one weakness in one area. Yes. But just because some don't even care to talk about it, mm. you think they are all perfect. 100%. Yes. Yeah. And of course, we can understand you, pastor, that is criticizing because you have not even seen anything. <laughs> even Zachariah, the sight of one angel, ah. made him dumb. Yes. Made him dumb. Dumb. Yes, sir. In church. Not in a voodoo house. In church. Yes, sir. Because he disagreed with an angel. The angel made him dumb. Physically for nine months. Could not say to his wife, I love you for nine months. Mm. Dumb. He don't understand what. <laughs> Even Daniel will say, what the visions he saw made him sick. Yes. Yes. Made him sick. Yes. It troubled him to the extent yes. he, he started having mental yes. problems. Until another angel came to be explaining yes, things to him. Yes, and yes. you think, yes. when you see a man of God say, hey, how do these people see visions? Say? Yes, all oh, these men of God, look at this person, look at this, see that this. You don't know what that thing does to our to the physical body. And I can't blame you. In the last six months, you've not even seen anything. Exactly. Okay, we come here on the, on the 31st. We came here. Yes. We told you the things that will happen all yes. around the world. Yes. Do you know how it happened? Do you know the places we entered in the spirit? Do you know where the angel of the Lord was taking us to showing us things? Do you know how many hours there? And then to come back, and in that realm, you, you, don't, you, you, you don't count it with time. It is when you come back in your physical body, you discover that, oh, you left 12 midday, and now you are back 7 p.m. Where did you go to for seven hours? And you think your body will still be the same. <laughs> Let's read. Of such a one, please let's be fast. You are the one holding us now. Let's close. I'm not the one holding you. One to go. Of such a one will I glory. Yet of myself I will not glory, but in my infirmities. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me upon that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan. You see that? You see that? So that messenger of Satan can make you fall for a woman. It can make you fall for, for marijuana. It can make you do drugs. It can make you do drugs. But yet you are still seen. See, one day, I had the privilege to talk to her papa and... Um, He was talking to me, giving me a counsel concerning my marital life. So he said to me, Ozi, why don't you just marry? I said, I will marry, sir. Then he said, Ozi, I want to ask you a question. What kind of woman do you want? That's my papa, Papa Jojo. He said, what kind of woman? She talked to me. So I said, sincerely, sir. I said, this, this. This. Then he asked me, how did this come about, this picture? Mm -hmm. I said, it has to do with the visions. Mm -hmm. This, this, this. He said, I get, I understand it. Because, don't forget, I've been seen before you came. Yes. I said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He said, and also, quite frankly, I understand perfectly what you are saying. Mm -hmm. Because there is a corridor of life you enter. Mm -hmm. You will see beauty. By the time you come here, you'll be looking for who, who has a flicker of it. Yes. Just a flicker of it that will remind you of that place. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because if you don't get it, you will hate the one you exactly. finally end up with. Wow. It's true. 
So you can marry someone and say, you want to marry her. And each time you look at her, you, you, you just, you find yourself, you are anointed though, but you are angry with the woman. You hate her. You don't want to see her because of where you have entered. You go of where you have entered. Do you know, study the, the one day we were going to take a class, who we'll studied the, prof, the prophetic ministry of Isaiah. Do you know for Isaiah to sleep with his wife, God had to tell him. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Because from chapter 6, after that vision, he stopped touching his wife. Yeah. God had to tell him, go and sleep with your wife, for her to even conceive a child. Because of what he saw. Yeah. Visions. Read about Ezekiel. Yes. So before you start saying this man of God, all oh, this man of God, this, first of all, if a man of God should sit you down and tell you what his eyes has, has been privileged to see, that's even beauty. How about the man of how, ask a voodoo priest, a voodoo priest, a voodoo priest who is seeing dem demons every time? Why is it that some of them don't stay with one woman? Because he can marry a woman that will remind him of the demon he just saw last week. Jesus. <laughs> That's even, and there are, there, are, there are demonic forces, fallen angels that are beautiful. Yes. Make no mistakes about this. Do you understand? Yes, then yes. you not talk about men of God who have been graced by the Spirit to enter certain corridors of beauty. I've seen an angel before. You know, one of the things people are. Uh, 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 for instance, if I tell you now that female angels exist, you will say, no, you are started again. But I can't, I can't, I said, if I tell you, yes. do you understand? Right. But if I was to, if there's a truth that I know about it, based on what I've seen, and I come, I can't preach it to you. Yes, no because I don't have any scripture. Yes. Because male personalities, words, masculine words were used for angels. Yes. But if somebody comes and tells you there are female angels, you may have issues with it. But let me tell you one that I've seen. I've seen a particular kind of angel. You know, because the reason why we give you that example is there are some angels, all you see about the pictures of angels, even is they are always wearing robes, wearing robes, wearing robes. Yes, Right? Yes. I've seen an angel that you can see through. Wow, transparent. Transparent. Wow. No clothes. But you can see through them. And those ones, <laughs> one day we'll take a class on those kind of angels. I've seen an angel. And they were all there. They're like crystals. You know crystals? Wow. You can see through them. But it's like blue. You see that? There's a blue behind me. Yes. I, I, how would you call that blue? That's royal blue. That's royal blue, right? Yeah. But, but the thing, it, it, comes, it comes like a line mm. inside them. Mm. But you can see through them. And they'll be looking at you like this. But as you are looking at them, you are seeing something else because you are seeing through them. Wow. But they are looking at you. Mm. Right. <laughs> uh, one day we'll take a class on the chambers of heaven. These are the angels who attend to the chambers. Wow. The city chambers of heaven. Exclusive. For certain people. Oh. One day we'll take a class on it. I had the privilege to see one. One. Mm -mm. One. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, that, in that vision, I did not even know that I was looking at a person, a personality. Because I saw a flower. When I was living, where I went in the visions, I was living, I saw some flowers. Do you understand? Yes, and I was fascinated because the flowers were like waving at me. Oh. Wow. Do you understand? Yes, ah. So I was trying to. I was looking at the flowers. Beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. But they were waving at me. <laughs> like they were waving at me. Mm -hmm. Then the angel that brought me. He now said. He now tapped me and said. He's saying hello to you. She's actually. He is what she. He said, she's saying hello to you. I said, who? I said, the flowers? He said, no, look again. Then I saw this angel. This crystal looking yes, angel. Sir. He waves like this. Oh. But it was by the flower. I didn't even see it. Mm -hmm. Just waved like that. I was looking. 
Then the angel that was with me tapped me. He said, come now, there's something I need to show you. And we left. But you see, when you see some magnificent beauty, you will come back and look at the woman sitting before you. And you say, what, what rubbish is this one? What kind of rubbish thing is this one? Do you understand? Yes, no, no, no I, don't, I don't mean disrespect. I'm not saying a woman is rubbish. <laughs> For me, I'm full of rubbish. You know, God is helping me. But, but I hope you understand. Yes, We're sir. trying to let you understand the magnitude of beauty. Yes, sir. The magnitude yes, sir. of beauty. Hmm. Did you ever read Isaiah 53? He says, when men shall behold him, there will be no beauty that anyone should desire him. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Why? Because there is a beauty Isaiah the prophet himself has seen. Right, right. <laughs> all right, let's finish this. So, so, before you start criticizing a man of God, all these men of God, you know, it's because many, you, 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 some don't have the eyes to see. There's a beauty you will see. I've seen one lady once. I've seen one lady once in Brooklyn. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. Ah. When I saw her, I said, no, this lady is not a human being. Because at that time, I had started seeing visions. Mm -hmm. I met one lady once in a grocery store. Yes, sir. She walked in to come and buy groceries. I said, no, this lady is not a human being. But I couldn't tell anybody because I, I, was, I came to buy plantain. Yeah. I said, ah, this lady is not. I said, this lady reminds me of where I've been once in the vision. I started cracking my head, cracking my head, cracking my head. I had to go and meet the lady. I said, excuse me, where are you from? She said, Russia. I said, Russia. Yeah. I saw her height. I said, you remind me. I, I, you look like somebody I've seen somewhere before. She, she said, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Then she walked away. As she was walking, I was like, no, oh, this person. I believe I've seen this person before. I, I, I've seen people of this kind before. Mm -hmm. God. The beauty alone. Yeah. I said, no, this lady, you look familiar. I've met people of your kind before. Somewhere I can't tell. But it was, on, it was in a vision. So sometimes when you, you now see someone sitting before you, you just be asking yourself, Lord. What kind of, what did I do to you like this? Hey. Why are you punishing me? Hey. One day we'll talk about the beauty of Sarah. One day. You're, that woman was not an ordinary woman. That woman. Hey, you don't understand. <laughs> okay, let's finish. Please, let's quickly finish this, all right? Ignore what we said so far. Don't mind my visions. Right. So I said, maybe it's my marine spirit. Okay, if marine spirit can be that beautiful, exactly. you think about it. If marine spirit can be beautiful, exactly. uh, you you human being improve. Honestly, sir, not lying. Yeah, <laughs> you understand? Not you lying. female human yes, improve. You're right. Improve. If marine spirit can be that beautiful, then you come to the house, you'll be tired apart. Go and sit down. Oh, why we go there? Oh yeah, let's read now. <laughs> Okay, before you get angry, let's read from verse 7. One, two, go. One, two, go, please. Read. This is the part I want you to see. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. You see that? Yes, sir. Every man of God has a weakness. Yes, and that is where God shows his strength. Yes, sir. Any man of God who has no weakness is not of God. Any man of God that has no weakness, weakness, not weakness, weakness, is not of God. God has no business with such a man. And there's no man of God who claim they see visions that don't have weakness. And that weakness, it is only God who protects it. And that's where God shows his strength. Yes, the weakness where you want to criticize of a man of God, that's where God shows his strength. If you want to know how powerful a man of God is, attack his weakness. Mm -hmm. Then you'll see what God will do to you. We know you are morally superlative. Attack that weakness. Of a man of God who know the strength of God. 
You, you know, some, you have never, you, you, some people have never seen the strength of God. If you want to really see the strength of God, mm -hmm. criticize a man of God's weakness. And the weakness has to do with his body, physical body. Physical body. <laughs> this one is not phone call. You can say all you want. You think a man of God wants to be weak? But God says that's, that's where his grace works in a man of God. Yes. There are two graces upon a man of God. The grace for the people. Yes. Then the grace for his own weakness. Yes, sir. In his own weakness. <laughs> I was talking to a man of God two days ago on the phone. A gracious man of God. And um, he said something to me I will never forget. So see, given the experiences, I've also come to see something in ministry too. I said, well, what is it, sir? He said, um, he, 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 let's stop borrowing people's problems. <laughs> I said, well, how do you mean, sir? He said, there are some people we should not be praying for. He said, there's a way somebody can come. You look at him. You ask the Lord, Lord, should I pray for this? Or if I pray for this, I hope it will not cause me problems. And then there is a way you can see a person's problem and a demon that is causing that problem or the occultic forces causing that problem can be angry that you yes. saw what they yes. are doing and begin to attack the man yes. of God. Yes, yes, yes. He said, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory, rejoice in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest on me. He said that for the power of God to rest on a man of God, he has to be weak. Let's close. May God let you see. No, I, I don't want to pray that prayer. I don't want to pray that may God let you see beauty. See beauty. Because uh, I don't know. There's a, there's a way you can see a beauty. You will hate everything around you. And then when you see someone who has a flicker of it, maybe her nails, you will fall for her. This is one thing people don't know. Say, so therefore, I take pleasure in my infirmities, in reproach, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. But actually, God is strong when I am weak. That's what he's saying. Praise God. Okay. Talk to the Lord. Lord, have mercy upon me. If I, before you pray. Look at that verses 11. Read verses 11. I am become a fool in glory. Ye have compared me for I... You see that? I have to have been commended of you. For in nothing am I behind the chiefest apostles, though I am nothing. See that? A man of God is nothing. Because the impact on their body... We know of him healing man of God, no worldwide. For him to go and heal, he had to be on wheelchair. They had to put him on wheelchair from the house to the car. When they got to church, he came out of the car, ministry, healing people on wheelchair. When he was done, when he got to the car, the moment he entered the car, the pains returned back again. They had to wheel him again from the wheelchair to his room upstairs. Then one of the pastors asked him, sir, don't you think we should call a doctor? He said, honestly. He said, he said but you stood up ministering to people. Look at the healings that took place. He said, actually, that was God doing his thing. Have you forgotten? And the pastor said, it's true. It's true, sir. It's true, sir. But guess what? That man of God only told some of us in a senior pastor's meeting. I have the videotape. He said, actually, that meeting the day before, that healing that you saw, they brought me in a wheelchair. He now called one of the pastors. He said, you, you, we, you, where's the wheelchair? Bring the wheelchair. They brought the wheelchair where the man of God sat on to come to church. The impact. The, impact. the power of God. See, people have not seen power. When you see people falling, falling, they say, that's the power of God. Power. When the power of God enters your body, this thing, it will want to jump out. It will tear. It can I cut a nerve. So. I believe so. Let's pray. Le soto prati valitalia kusamantis. Father, help me in my weakness. Father, show your strength in my weakness. Talk to the Lord. Show your strength in my weakness. Show your strength in my weakness. 
Show your strength in my weakness. Show your strength in my weakness. Even as we rejoice in it, Father, show your strength in my weakness. Talk to the Lord. Bless his name. Break and the cascade, a rabba la carabroco, locus, grobroco, licascate, a rake and the catsgro, 